Hey guys, and welcome to PrimitivePrep.com. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make your own beard oil. Um, so in front of me I have a few ingredients and a bottle to use. Some people think that they could just stop shaving, grow a beard, and uh, end up having a fantastic beard in a few months. And that's typically not the case. You want to take good care of your beard. You need to wash it, you need to comb it, you need to trim it, and you need to shape it, as well as conditioning. So what the beard oil is going to do is help condition your beard um, so it has a nice shine and it gets really healthy all the way from the roots all the way to the ends. So with me I have a few ingredients um, and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a, a small bottle, either one or two ounces just to get started in case you don't like it, you don't make a huge batch. So Making a small amount like this is good just to get started. Um, and then you have your carrier oils. I'm going to talk about those in a second. But with me I have jojoba oil and I have avocado oil. And then for scent, you're going to need some essential oils. So with me I have cedarwood oil and I have tea tree oil. Um, and these are the ingredients for a very basic beard oil. Um, I call it Prim and Prep's Best basic beard oil. Um, it's not too many ingredients, obviously you could use a lot more. And in the article that is on the website about how to make your own beard oil, there's a lot of other recipes uh, that get a lot more um, in depth and have a lot more ingredients. So you could try those out, but just to show you how it's done, and the process is the same for all of them. You pretty much just mix oils into the bottle, shake it up and you're good to go. Um, but there's a lot more recipes on the website. So let's start off with carrier oils. And carrier, carrier oils are what's responsible for the softening and conditioning of your beard. And there's a ton of them. They're mostly made from pressed seeds or nuts. So avocado oil is one of them, jojoba, almond, uh, almond oil, olive oil, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. And you can really mix and match them. Uh, today I'm just going to be using these two. But um, you could really throw in however many you want, and they all have their unique benefits. And one of the reasons they're called carrier oils is because they carry essential oils and help dilute it and help rub these in to your beard because uh, they're not very oily, even though they're called oils, they're not very good at getting into the skin and getting into the hairs by themselves. But Mixed in with carrier, carrier oils, they're really easy to get into the skin and the hair that way. Um, so let's talk about the essential oils. Essential oils are mostly for scent, but they also have some added benefits to them, such as eucalyptus uh, helps fight skin irritation, uh, cedarwood helps fight acne, and they all have specific benefits, so you can mix and match depending on your needs and what kind of smell you want. So the process is pretty simple. I'm going to have the camera come down and focus on my hands as I'm showing you guys the steps and actually measuring out all these different oils and putting them in the bottle so you guys can get a closer look that way. Okay, I'll see you down there. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, we are here up close with our, with our bottle and we're going to add the ingredients and I'm going to show you how much of each we need. Um, so to measure it out, I actually, on the website it's in ounces, so it says a half an ounce of jojoba oil. I'm going to be using a teaspoon to measure these out, so six teaspoons is one ounce, so I'm going to do three for a half an ounce. So let's start off. Oh, also I, I grabbed a funnel, um, and if you don't have a funnel at home, you can go to any gas station and just ask for a funnel. They have them to fill up to fill up the oil in your engine. So I just cut off cut off the top and then taped it. And you could use any um, waterproof paper and just wrap it in a funnel and tape it and it should work just fine. So let's get started with the jojoba oil. And um, this recipe requires a half an ounce of jojoba oil. So let's just put a half. We're going to do three of these. And 
And Georgia Pot Oil is probably one of the most popular carrier oils for all of beard oil. For most beard oils that are on the market today. So there's one. Um, another popular one that I've been seeing people use is Argan Oil. That's in uh, Leavenworth's beard oil. It uses just jojoba and argan oil for their fragrance-free beard oil that's really popular on Amazon. Okay. There are three teaspoons of jojoba oil in there right now. And the next step of the recipe is for another carrier oil. And it's for avocado oil. And I just bought a new one, so I have to open it up real fast. And the great thing about this avocado oil is that after I'm done with this recipe, I can still use it for a lot of cooking. Let's see, why isn't that coming out? So yeah, after I'm done I could use it a lot for cooking. That's another reason I got this. Okay, there's one teaspoon. Two teaspoons and three teaspoons make it makes a half an ounce. Cool, so the funnel has pretty much done its job. So the side over here. And if you can see that it's pretty much halfway full right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tea tree oil, and this recipe re requires three drops of tea tree oil. And a lot of these essential oils, they don't come with a dropper. Um, they actually come with just a stick, and oh, this one actually comes with a brush. So I'm going to see if I can get this to drop in. And if not, I could see it go down the side of the walls. You guys can't really in the video. I'll try to show you guys. But that's the drop. That's the drop. And... There's another drop. Sounds good. The last part of the recipe is five drops of cedar wood essential oil. So we have cedar wood here. And this thing actually comes with just a glass, a glass um, rod that goes dips down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tap the side and I'm going to watch it drip down the side. There's a drop. And all you need is a very little amount of this stuff. It's a really potent oil, has a really strong smell to it. So just a little bit will do. Okay, that wasn't a very good one, so I'm going to add one more. Okay, that's good. Cool. And the last step is just to add the pipette back into it. And shake her up. So that the carrier oils and the essential oils can really mix together. Cool, and there we have it guys, um, your first beard oil. This stuff is absolutely fabulous. I've used it 
plenty of times. It really helps to soften up the beard. And I think the main reason for that is that jojoba oil is just a great conditioner overall. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know how your beard reacts to it. Mine reacted absolutely great, and that's why we named it Prim and Preps Best Basic Beard Oil uh, Recipe for the video. And there's a lot more recipes on the article, and there should be a link floating around right here that you can take you to that Prim and Prep article where you can find a lot, of, a lot more DIY beard oil recipes. And if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Um, we're going to be releasing a lot of other meal grooming tips and reviews on products and stuff like that. And head over to our site. I think you'll really enjoy it if you like this type of thing. And have a good one, guys. Bye.